All right, I am not going to add a green screen for what I'm about to say right now. So go see this movie. Go see this movie in theaters. It's very important. I'm sure that it's going to be different if you go see it, if you watch it at home. I'm sure it's going to be a completely different experience. But when you go, enjoy the movie. It is a quiet movie. It's, it's a very quiet movie, which means the people that feel the need to talk for 15 and 20 minutes, leave that outside or go outside. But be quiet. Shh. If the difference between life and death was silence, I would be dead. Shh. Today we're talking about the movie A Quiet Place. And we're starting right now. A Quiet Place, which was directed by John Krasinski, is a film about, you gotta be quiet. The movie starts out, it follows a family that is going through a post-apocalyptic world, I guess is way to put it. We've all seen the trailers. If you haven't seen the trailers, go look at the trailer and check it out. So yeah, aliens have come down to the earth. They can't see, but they have apparently that mom hearing where they can hear almost anything in the world. So the family has to be quiet. The difference between life and death is silence. As I've already said, if that's the case, I'm gone. I snore way too damn loud. I would be almost terrified to fall asleep. But if silence is golden, and that's exactly what you gotta do in order to live, then I'm pretty sure your flight or fight, well, I guess you wouldn't be fighting because there doesn't appear to be much of an option when it comes to that. Shh. Silence is the key. In fact, they don't even really whisper very much. I mean, the movie doesn't have very many words. They pretty much communicate through sign language. And the stakes are super high. We find out exactly how high within the first 10 to 15 minutes of the movie. This family has gone through great lengths in order to maintain their silence. Again, you make a noise, you're dead. This isn't one of those things. I mean, it is immediate. Yeah, it's like that. You got Emily Blunt, who does a phenomenal job. In fact, all the actors and actresses in this movie did a fantastic job. The kids, if you remove the kids from this movie, I promise you the entire complexion of the movie is completely different. A lot of people, you'd have to make that tough choice whether you keep your kids or whether you live. I would like to think that the majority of most human beings would make the right choice, but I can't really say that for everybody. The movie is super tense. They don't really set up the story. The movie takes place roughly about 90 days. I believe it was 90 days into whenever this whole thing started. And basically, it goes from there. Silence is golden in this movie. In fact, what was strange is I believe because the movie was so quiet for the most part that it made people around you feel quiet. Every time I was wanting to kind of shake out my popcorn bag, I was sitting there just like, shit. Do, do I do it? Do I disturb the silence? Even the person that was like five people down from me, they were drinking their drink and I'm looking like, yeah, even the theater was that quiet. Maybe about 15 minutes into the movie, some idiot that didn't turn their cell phone off, it beeps. Because yeah, the stakes felt that high. The movie has quite a bit of tension. The pacing of the movie is fantastic. It really felt like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. It had that real creepy vibe. You had just enough imagery of the aliens to creep you out just the right amount. If I had to find a couple flaws to go with the movie, I wouldn't, well, without giving anything away, and I don't want to do that right now, I will probably save that for another review, a spoiler filled review. So you know Emily Blunt is pregnant in the movie and it just makes you wonder who made that decision? I get that life just happens but in this sort of scenario, yeah, not smart. But when you add different pieces of a film like that, that just turns the stakes up even higher as if they couldn't get any higher. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt do a phenomenal job. I don't even understand how in this particular world and, and they walk it well, how you're able to still maintain your sanity. They're still playing board games. They're, they're still eating decent meals and they're, they're, they're pretty much going shopping still. Everything about this movie is less about the aliens and more about the family. It's about the kids. It's about Emily Blunt. It's about John Krasinski. And they, they walk the line between a horror film 
and I don't want to say a psychological thriller, but it definitely, it probably is a psychological thriller. And no, I'm going to go horror film because there were times I didn't jump, but my insides definitely jumped quite a bit. Every time the lady next to me jumped, I was like, you're going to be dead. You, person who sneezed, you're dead. How dare you adjust your seat while the movie's going? Shh. The genius behind this movie is that it's unique and at the same time, I feel like it's been done before, but never really this way. There's a few other films that kind of came to mind. Not gonna throw them out there because they are not even in the same league as this film. I know with all the other reviews that I've done, I have not had a movie that I said, you have to see this movie in the theater. Even if you don't go to the movies that often, you gotta go see this movie in the theater. In fact, I'm going to see it again and I guarantee you it still gives me that same EBGB vibe that it just gave me when I just saw it. Love the movie. The movie was fantastic. Acting was great. Considering you got kids that their only form of communication is sign language, it's weird because it took me a minute to figure out why this entire family knows sign language. So if you're a family that doesn't know sign language, you're done. Because I would imagine that even the crinkling of some paper might attract the aliens for sure. Yeah, it's that serious. Now go see the movie. No, seriously, why are you still sitting there watching this? You should be at the movies. So if you're one of the few people that have already seen this movie, please comment in the box below. Tell me what do you think about it? Do you think the movie was fantastic? Did you think the movie sucked? And if it sucked, please tell me why. A Quiet Place is a must see in the theater movie. It is definitely a buy on Blu-ray all day long. What was your favorite horror film that made you jump the most? If any, because I feel like people are desensitized to horror now. Lastly, if this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe. Also, hit the bell. That way you know whenever I upload something new. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. If you're feeling what I'm dealing, hit me in the comment box below and let me know.